Hi, and welcome to another chapter in our C-Sharp web development course. We're on Activity 7, which is going to feature dependency injection. So first of all, we're, we're going to talk about what dependency injection is. So think of this diagram here where you see a class that uses some kind of a service, such as a database. In our example, we have a products program that we built earlier, and it communicates with a data source. And so what happens if we want to swap that out? Well, you'd have to go in and just simply code a different instance of the resource. Well, dependency injection allows us to have that configuration done in an external file. So you don't have to go and modify any source code if you want to change a data source. And so the technology or the, uh, the technique to do that is called dependency injection. We're going to make a game example to illustrate what it is. So in this game, we'll create heroes. Heroes can possess weapons. Weapons can be several different kinds of weapons. And the interface called weapon is going to define what those weapons can do, such as uh, attack or load or whatever else. Actions, I forget what they are, but uh, the hero will be able to possess a weapon. Now, that weapon can change depending on a configuration file. So we'll see what that looks like in the context of creating a simple game. Then a more realistic example is we're going to go back to our products program and we're going to talk about the two different sources of data. So you might recall that this products program had some faker data in it. So we created some hard-coded values that were right in the class name. So we generated the code to create the, to create the products. They were not in a database. So that was version one. We could call that our test application. Then the second version was actually we created a SQL table and we ran queries against that table. So now we have two different versions of this uh, data source and they are both conforming to a pattern that was designed in an interface. So that's exactly why we created them with an interface so they can easily be traded out. And so there'll be a configuration file in your c -sharp project where you can specify which data source is currently being used. And it will be as simple as changing one line of code and you can swap out the data source. So let's get started on this next activity using dependency injection.